In the early hours of Sunday morning, Meghan and husband Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, made a surprise return to the long walk when they joined his brother and sister-in-law, William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, to view the sea of floral tributes, left to left for their late and truly great-grandmother, the Queen. Though as usual, Markle was more interested in viewing William than any silly flowers. Dream on dreary. William and Catherine were superb and confident. They were definitely in charge. Catherine, as always, was very elegant. To begin with, Harry seemed to fuss endlessly with his pockets, recording equipment, and looked uncomfortable to begin with. Meghan did not have time to apply the bronzer and also looked surprisingly subdued, which makes one wonder what has been said to the Sussexes. Both Sussexes appeared to be deferential to the Cambridges. Royal fans have spotted Meghan's recording equipment on her hip, as she'll be hoping to evidence the dislike she receives for her next Brit royalty bashing interview, book or broadcast, etc. It was only two weeks ago a confident Meghan appeared on the cover of New York's The Cup magazine, clad in myriad chic designer outfits for another royal gauntlet throwing session. There was Meghan telling journalist Alison P. Davis, just by existing, we were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy, so we go. Okay, fine, let's get out of here, happy to. And her delivering what sounded suspiciously like a threat of more revelations with the line, I could say anything, I have a lot to say until I don't. Instead of the Sussexes enjoying whatever it is they might normally do on a weekend, make their own oat milk, update their dream journals, ignore calls from Netflix execs wondering where all their shows might be, given their huge check has long since cleared, Harry and Meghan have found themselves dumped back in the lion's den. No one could have predicted that instead of spending this week giving self-involved speeches, they've instead been forced to come face to face with the very people they've so energetically and publicly assailed. Meghan Markle has postponed the next episode of her debut podcast, Archetypes, as she prepares for the Queen's funeral. Meghan has also cancelled a scheduled visit to the UN General Assembly in Manhattan with Prince Harry, as the Sussexes remain in the UK during a period of national mourning. Meghan has agreed to appear on NBC's The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon on Tuesday, September the 20th, but these plans have since been abandoned amidst funeral preparations. Meghan was due on Fallon, a source told. I don't even know what she was going to talk about, but that's obviously cancelled now. The publication is also reporting that Meghan's next podcast episode, due to drop on Spotify on Tuesday, is set to be pushed back. Furthermore, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been blasted by royal fans over claims that they could turn the Queen's funeral on Monday into the Harry and Meghan show. According to reports, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are considering whether to fly their children, Archie and Lilibet, to the UK in time for the funeral on Monday. The children have been separated from their parents for over a week and have been looked after by Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, in California. The couple are considering whether to also help Miss Ragland come over to London for the state funeral. However, the Sussexes were given a stark warning by royal fans on social media that they shouldn't make the Queen's funeral about them or into any attempt to promote their brands. At Truthseeker said, Don't you dare turn the Queen's funeral into the Harry and Meghan show. The Queen wasn't important enough for you to visit Balmoral when she invited you. 